This is how you know Louis getting out of control. She knows her husband don't fuck with this dude. But business before everything. Even before your husband. Even though your husband put you over his fucking family, over his blood. And you're choosing business. You're choosing money and greed over your husband. Y'all, I used to fuck with Louis, but not no more. This is a big step up from last week. <laughs> so, yeah, Snowfall Season 5, Episode 9. We wind it down, y'all. So, yeah, this season has been criticized for being a little lackluster and not as good as last season. I, I will agree with that. But you know what? This ain't the worst thing in the world. You know what I'm saying? that There are some highlights this season. I can't front. But, yeah, as far as one of the best, nah, I can't say that. But this episode was a return to form as compared to that LSD episode. Yo, even motherfuckers had to even laugh. <laughs> they even had to laugh within this episode how ridiculous that was last week. Like, man, somebody laced the chocolate fountain with LSD. <laughs> yeah, it sounds ridiculous, and it was ridiculous, but here we are, back to form. So, Louis, you know what? This season should be called Snowfall, The Rise of Louis, because this is really, uh, like, really about her. Like, Franklin is taking a back seat, and, you know, of course, they're doing that on purpose because... The light is now shining on Louis, but Franklin, on the other hand, he, at first, he seems pissed off about it, like, you know, he feels betrayed, he's hurt, you can see the tears in his eyes, but it's like, you know what, have at it, have at it, you know, go for it. Louis, this is what you've always wanted, go ahead, it's yours now, you on top, I hope you're happy. Steps to Teddy, alright, yo, you know what, it's all good, I'm out. And Teddy, for some reason, wants him to stay, like, Teddy looks almost hurt that Franklin wants to get out. Nigga, you the one betrayed me, turn, turn your back on me. You know, that's not so much turn your back on me, but you go behind my back, make a deal with my auntie, cut me out pretty much, and now you ask me to stay in the game? Like, you disloyal, bitch-made punk. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, he's at peace with it. Listen, I got my girl. I got a baby on the way. I have, I have enough money to last me for a lifetime. What the fuck am I doing? But we all know how this, go how this goes. We know how this goes. All right? Y'all have seen Carlito's Way. You've seen Godfather 3, and I've been comparing Franklin to Michael Corleone. We know how this plays out. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Franklin's not out. Something's going to happen. I don't know if his girl going to get shot or if she's going to lose the baby. Something's going to happen where he's going to get drawn back in and be worse than ever. I think Louis' time is up, just like her rise to the top. It's going to be quicker going down, okay? Just like Marlo from The Wire. Marlo had like five seconds of fame at the top, and then he was done. So I don't know if Louie's going to get killed. I don't know if she's going to go to prison. I, some, but Louie's reign ain't going to last that long, all right? She's too power hungry, and she's too, she's too like, and I like that scene where she's talking to Lee, and she's pretty much giving her backstory on why she is the way she is. Like, look, you know, you think you have a heart as a black man? Imagine being five minutes as a black woman. You know, and I've heard this before, you know, my cousin says this all the time, black women are the most disrespected people in this country, in, the, in this world, you know what I'm saying, have no fucking value. When I have no value, that's how people see them, okay, so she has to go above and beyond to prove that she's that bitch, because any little sign of weakness, any little chink in the armor, she will be exposed and then she's done, it's like blood in the water, even with Jerome by her side. Now where's Jerome sitting on this? Jerome is just in love, Jerome has Louis back, so no matter what she does, he's he's all for it, even though he's uncomfortable with turning on Franklin, because that, that's his nephew, that's blood, you know, did that exchange they had where she told him, like, yeah, um, I said I set the, the hit up on Kane, and I went to Teddy behind your back, you know, like, just, like, no remorse, like, oh, it is what it is, I did it, and you see Jerome looking like, damn, man, so, yeah, I... I guess his woman comes first, even though I know he doesn't want to go to war with his nephew, but if he has to make a choice, he's going to choose Louis. You know what I'm saying? that That's his wife now. And, you know, I guess if you follow the Bible, though, your wife is worth more than anything. I, I said I'm done predicting what happens because I, I just don't know anymore. Okay, After that Tiger episode, I don't know what to expect from the show. But um, I do, I do think there's going to be a casualty coming. All right, and at first I thought it was Jerome because they focused so much on him on the one episode, and you know the rule of TV, whenever they focus so much on a character, usually that character goes within the next couple episodes. So I thought it was Jerome, and it, it could still be Jerome, you know, that, that could be Louis' tipping point, you know, or Louis 
could be the one to get taken out, and then Jerome be the one golfing the deep, and I don't know. But now, I got to throw Lee in there, too. Because if you watched any hood film in the 90s, every time a nigga tried to get out the hood, what happened to them? Ricky, Kane, uh, who else? Um, shit. There's been a few that tried to get out, and they, they get killed before they get taken out. I mean, before they get out the hood. So, Lee wants to pull a Nas and Belly and go to Africa with, with Wanda. And something tells me he's not going to make it out. Now, we don't know the conversation he had at the hospital with Kane's people. Okay, when he go to visit Kane and come to find out Kane is now paralyzed, so he's going to be in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. Thanks to bitch-ass Buckley. I'm going to get to him in a second. So, Kane's right hand is like, look, nigga, you act like you... Do you know something? You acting like you, you don't know anything about this, man. Something you want to tell me? And Lee, the way he looks, like he's finna spill, spill the beans. Okay. I don't know what was said, so I don't know if he told about Louie and told Louie that he didn't say nothing. I don't know. But I think even Lee knows that, that Louie's getting too big for her britches. She's smelling her own piss. She got to go. All right? Like, we, we, we're family here. We're supposed to be honest with each other and loyal to each other. And you go into business for yourself and say, fuck everybody else. Okay? That's how organizations... Uh, damn, I can't even talk. That's how organizations fall. That's how family dismantles. Louie, you're fucking up. Kane's people are going to come after Louie with everything they got. But now we have a wild card. Louie is thinking steps ahead. Okay, Franklin has stepped off now. We ain't got Franklin. We need some more muscle. We, we need somebody with a lot of connects that can get shit done. She recruits Buckley. Now, what's Jerome going to think about this? Because Jerome is under the assumption that Louie was going to uh, give the okay to take Buckley out. He's no longer on the force. He's no longer valuable to us. But Louis thinking, no, he still has value to us because even though he's kicked off the force, I'm going to put him on my payroll and pay him more than the force ever did, which buys loyalty. And therefore, he has all the connects. He has, yeah, she just made a deal with the devil and she might live to regret it. That's definitely going to cause a rift between her and Jerome because she knows Jerome don't fuck with this guy. This is how you know Louis getting out of control. She knows her husband don't fuck with this dude, but business before everything, even before your husband, even though your husband... Put you over his fucking family, over his blood. And you're choosing business, you're choosing money and greed over your husband. Y'all, I used to fuck with Louie, but not no more. Where am I at? Not no more, y'all. Louie needs to go. All right, I'm, I'm getting tired of her. She's smelling her own piss. Fuck the fact that Jerome loves her. I love Jerome too, you know what I'm saying? But nah, Jerome, your woman gotta go, bro. She, she's, she's Tony Montana, but fucking female version, okay? She's becoming Black Widow. All right, Cocaine Cowboys too. She she got to go. All right. And now Avi made a deal with Teddy where he's supposed to deliver a whole bunch of guns. That's probably not going to happen now because that fucking Colombian guy, I guess the CIA working with Franklin's mom, I guess he kind of fucked that up. So I don't know how. Let's listen, y'all. The finale is next week. And this finale better be about an hour and a half because there's just so much to unwrap here. So much that needs to be resolved. Now I know we got one season left, but damn it. You know, you have not been delivering so far this season, except for Tigers and LSD chocolate and shit, okay? This episode was returned to form. That finale has to come through. This episode delivered. This finale has to fucking deliver. That's it. That's all. I think it's going to be a casualty. Franklin definitely ain't out. So, yeah, all that shaking hands and I'm out the game. You know, no, Carlito's Way Godfather Part 3. Louie, yeah, she she has to go. She has to go. Like, she, she's just bad. Like, she's just ruthless, man. She's ruthless and just doesn't give a fuck. It's, it's about business. It's about money. And, like, what really put the cherry on top is when she recruited Buckley. Why? He's a piece of shit, but she sees dollar signs. She sees power. She sees, I guess, security. You know, Jerome is not enough being an enforcer. No, we need somebody on the payroll that um, that has connections to powerful people. Louie got to go night-night. She got to go night-night, all right? That's it and that's all. So what y'all think about the episode? Comment freely below. Let me know what you thought. If you like and dig this content, hit that like and subscribe notification bell in the corner. This is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.